Hello, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as the Republic of the Rio Grande. So last time, we took out a few places, maybe mostly just annex some places, and we're currently at war with the two sons. We've lost about 1,600 guys, but we're pretty much going to be winning this war throughout that. Should be pretty easy. But let's see. We have a Gek, a Garden of Eden creation kit. It's a device capable of radically altering the wasteland and transforming dead, irradiated soil into viable land suitable for farming. When deployed, a gek will collapse all matter within its given radius and recombine it to form a living, breathing, fertile, virgin landscape and a life to begin anew. So, uh, you can't deploy these where you have a lot of development already. So, I'm just going to do it down here in, let's see, nuclear cartilage. That sounds like a right place to deploy a gek. And we shall do that. So, when we do that, we get a bonus to construction, agriculture, two civilian workshops, three infrastructure over here. Actually, where do that? Is that a core? That's not a core of ours. Uh, we might want to make it into a core first. Ooh, maybe not nuclear cartilage. Monoclava? Maybe monoclava. Can we do monoclava? No, we can't. Well, it doesn't really matter. So we did Valles. Valles. Down here. Ah, that'd be good. We'll do it down here. Very nice. And that'll take some time. Now, unfortunately, the followers of the Apocalypse demand that we get rid of our nuke. And if we don't select this, they're going to raid Armageddon Station. So, th these pacifists are using violence to achieve their pacifist ways. Talk about hypocritical. Like, holy cow. Like, come on, man. Why do we even tell them that we have a nuke? That doesn't make any sense. But anyways... Let us finish off this war real quick. I have played this just a little bit off screen. Just wanted to see how much further we would take. And here are the casualties. Eh, 51 divisions. We've lost about 1.6 thousand, like I said. They lost about 14 thousand, so not too bad. Pretty darn good. After this, mm, I think we might just go to war with Pe Petro Chico. Because I'm really just sort of waiting at this point to go to war with Kaiser's Legion. I really want the NCR to fight Kaiser's Legion. I think that'd be best. They're currently doing Kimball's protege which is fine they're out of New Vegas that's cool let's just go ahead and see if we can do anything with these guys they got a lot of manpower quite a few divisions we're gonna oh oh they're guaranteeing the independence of Chichen Itza okay whatever actually were we going to war with anyone else yet oh Genta oh that's right and eh, Genta shouldn't be too bad since we'll have a land dock uh, a direct connection to them uh, Lee Robert Edwards was injured. Anyone else? Ooh, side channel attack. Very cool. No? Mm, not really interesting. Ignacio. Ignacio. Defense. Very cool. Get some of that. Also, I did decide to create the agency, and we've gone with the actual modern Mexican intelligence agency's name, which we can't see right here, which I'll show you when it gets formed. I'll show you when it, when it gets one. Hey, look, we got these guys off. Beautiful. Beautiful. They can't do anything to my armor, so. Perfect. Oh, you guys can probably just walk right in. Thank you. And I will puppet these guys, like I said in la the last episode. Just to see if we can maybe get... S we can annex them fully? Oh, boy. The commander's arsenal's here. Oh, yeah. We also have the Enclave, too. Led by Nerino. Awesome. Now. Oh, we depower the people. Public works? That looks pretty good. Redistributing armories. Nice. Let's go with public works. We can use tools designed to restore Mexico to develop our nation. Yes. And then we'll do some more stuff over here as well. Let's see. Anything over here that's really great? Not really. Ah, and there goes two suns. Thank you, my friends. Electrical extraction. Time to pop it. Thank you. Now, hopefully we can, like, integrate them. Because it is Mexican. Oh, maybe we can't. Maybe we can't. Oh, boy. Hmm. Oh, well. Whatever. More extraction? Sure, why not? And now... I need all of you guys. Hmm. We do have waterways around here. You might do okay doing that. I'll probably split up... I might split this up with... The luchadors down there. Four... Cool. I know we have a lot of APC divisions. I'll rename them in a little bit, probably. A little bit later. Let's see. One, two, three, four, 
five. Is that it? Is that the only waterways we have? Two? If that's a case. We're gonna put you guys right there, and you're gonna try to strike through there. We'll do our best. And everyone should get a group. Some sort of air force. Greetings from Earth Monkeys. Oh, I don't want to be probed. Yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. Well, you can really just do that. Because you're going to come right there. Ah! Ah, they want to go and fight each other now. Good. Heavens get to go high temples. The wasteland is very violent tonight. Oh, the Brotherhood's destroying the Marrow Drinkers. Wow. Both cities looking pretty good, though. Excuse me. There's a brotherhood. Oh, uh, well, since we're here, it's going to take a while for me to, like, actually integrate them. So I'm just going to... I'll let them join us. That'd be fine with me. Peace. Updated equipment. Military society. Ah, there it is. National Intelligence Center. Not super cool name, but, you know, it is what it is. Cool. Let's go ahead and grab some cryptology. That'd be nice. We currently are ra racking, lacking water. That is the most important thing that we need to develop right now. Even though I'm still trying to develop some military factories, some scrap factories. Okay. Actually, get rid of t these two, probably. Hmm. Water would be nice. Blop, blop. Ah, uh, you might as well get that, too. Right. Oh, yeah, definitely right there. Water? Water. Uh, you might as well do these areas, just because we are eventually going to need to have lots of supply through here. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Nice postcode modifications. And radar. Radar time. This guy shouldn't be too bad with all the divisions that we have allied with us. Wow. Actually. The Luchadoras. Don't look great in some of their divisions. Some of them they do. Texas really doesn't look great in some divisions. Public works, awesome. More factories. Let's go ahead and grab from the ashes. Not everyone who has bent the knee to the legion has given up. And we get a lot of political power, so hopefully we can core something here. Let's see. The glowing ash would be good to core. We need Linares. Nice. But we also need maybe. Eh, could we do Clalox Lair? Oh, we need more compliance. This is a colony save. It is what it is. I'd really like. Aguas Calientes. That's very nice. Very nice. Let's go to war anyways, because we got to go with uh, Petro Chico eventually too. Now, our allies are attacking. Don't necessarily agree with that, but don't necessarily disagree with that. So you're telling me we're going to cut off the capital here? Cool. From Junta City and make sure that everyone else can do very well. The raid on Armageddon Station. Enraged by our refusal to dispose of our new nuclear weapon, a group of fanatic followers of the Apocalypse have launched a raid on Armageddon Station, the site where our new nuclear weapon is housed. Armed to the teeth and using violence, these followers seem to have completely forgotten about their pacifist philosophy and are fighting through our defenses as we speak. All followers, sources we have reached out to in an attempt to explain the raid, have firmly denounced the actions of these radicals, but have implored us to exercise their restraint against their fellow members. Is there time for such caution when our most prized weapon is at stake? We could crush them all. I'm probably just going to crush them all. 5% chance of a devastating accident. 95% of the raid being put down in time. Mm. I'm not... No, I'm not just arming that. We need that against the Legion. I'd rather lose stability. Screw you, followers. You should have restrained them. You had the power to restrain them. You chose not to. You chose the wrong action. And I must do what I must do for the people of Mexico. Hmm. We already, ha we already don't have enough war support, and let's see it here. We're doing pretty well on that. This will be okay as well. Hmm. Give me more stability, and unless there's something else I can do. Training time, season patriotism is not worth it at all. Uh, how many guns do we have? Guns, more than enough. Let us sell them, and that's all we can do. 
I'm not doing that. We need more stability, so. Uh, weekly Mexican wrestling matches. Yes, we shall broadcast that. Nice. And Genta has pretty much been surrounded. So everyone else should actually have a pretty easy time doing this. Very cool. I think they have a port, so that's pretty good. Hey, look, we got a spy. Pablo! I love Pablo. Hmm. Do these guys first. It's gonna take a long time, but I don't really want to deal with it later. So, Oh, you guys are attacking down there. That's nice. Everyone else is kind of hanging out. I want them to starve first, really. That's really my goal here. Let them starve. Let them have a good time. Hi, Chapel. That's fine. Slowly lowering our stability, or war support, I mean. Whatever. So if I, you do this, make it minus 1.7, minus 1.2. Eh. Just don't lose any territory and we'll be fine. Good. We're almost done deploying the GAC. That's nice. That's really nice. Clamp down on autonomy is something we're going to have to do eventually as well. But at least we still have our nukes. Or I nuke. One nuke. And give it time. These guys are starving. Look at that. They're starving for supplies. They probably tried to attack and they can't do anything. From the ashes. We have the Quiet Rebellion. It's very easy for a certain for a caravan to slip across the vast border between Rio and the Legion. A caravan carrying guns, bombs, and other weapons. We can arm rebels in Legion territory. Oh boy. Damage garrisons. Da 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 da. The automatic. Yeah, interesting stuff, I suppose. Now, what are you guys doing? Rebuilding the Long 15? You're taking forever. Oh, you're fighting. Oh, you're fighting these guys. Yeah, we might have fight Kaiser by ourselves. That's fine with me. I don't have that many divisions, actually. Automation. Nice. Very good. Robots. We'll get there eventually. We will. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah. That's good to get. Hey, we actually have a positive amount of right there. Hang dog. Scorpion's bites. Very cool. These guys are really not doing well, which is what I love to see. But we don't need any... Do we need unnecessary casualties? We already have a ton of army XP. That's already pretty good. Government Cypher Schools. Casualties thus far. One versus a thousand. Very nice. Alright, so you guys can go right ahead. Kick them out. You guys can go ahead as well with all those extra air support. You should do fine. Yeah, 30 to 40-ish damage. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good amount. Nice. And they can push up easily down there. Ah, uh, when you cut off the capital from everyone else, it do, you do pretty well. You can do pretty darn well. Alright, let's finish these guys off. I'll give a little bit to the luchadoras. That I think they deserve it. I think they do. Cool. Where else can we core? Um, I only need less than 20% resistance. That's okay, so you know what? Wasteland pacification, wasteland... That's good. Oh, spread outposts. We're going to go up to... Pacification. It, it's going to cost us more guys to use. Yeah, but it's only 700 more guys. And we have enough manpower now that I think we'll be okay. Should be okay. Good. Energy cells, just in case. White Rebellion. We have to be at war. How about we do redistributing armories? Many of these guns are better than anything the Legion has. So, we move stuff around. Basically. Which is not a bad thing at all. Good, good, good. We are we really lacking any resources? No, we should probably be ramping up our army production though. Let's do that. And we go up to four. There you go. We can only get how many caps? 108? Good. Vault City's doing the Wow. That's a big brotherhood. That is quite the brotherhood. Nevada Enclave, of course. NCR is struggling with those guys over there. Even though they did win the Battle of Hoover Dam, Northern Leagues looks pretty good. Oh, the Northern Defense Coalition. Haven't seen you for a very long time. Alright. I don't think adding Genta Del Sol will be useful as a puppet, so we're just going to split these guys up. Uh, there you go. There you go. The Rio Pact is looking stronger and stronger. Oh, we can arm... Oh, we can arm the... 
Arm the peoples of the Mescalero Nation for a revolt against the Legion. The real rising, the barrel of the cannon. Oh, that looks like fun. Let's go. Uh, I do want to force some stuff though. Mm. Resistance should be going down. Yeah, it's good. It's fine with me. Petro Chico, you can look a little thick there. All right, let's get our guys over here first. Then we'll just think about what we're gonna do. Dedicated equipment, awesome. Get that more energy, so capacity. We might take out cowboy countries. Two sounds looks amazing right now. Bring it down there. Bring it down there. Government staff for schools. Radio interception group. Oh wow, we're building up a lot of stuff here. Let's see. Just build stuff like this, and then maybe build some things like there and there. That'd be good. That'd be quite good. Infantry. Cool. Our guys are pretty much already down here. Awesome. Now, if we could really focus on the southern portion of Mexico first, instead of the Legion, that's not too bad. Not a bad idea. Redistributing armories. Now we're done, done with that. Now we can do the family tradition. Gera's daughter also serves in Rio's army and is happy to take the fight to Kaisar. Turns out both fighting runs in the family. Cool. Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Hmm. How many more days must we wait? Petro Chico. Got some manpower. Oh. Okay. Well, okay then. Ah, eh, 40 more days. Cool. So go one, two, three. Pop. One. Oh, one, two. Oh, and yeah, that's what usually happens when Canaan Exile tries to attack them. Usually doesn't work out for them very, very well. Radio interception groups. Radio detection. Love it. Good, just enough guys. Maybe we'll get some more close air support, maybe. Radar. Sounds nice this time of year. We kind of already have some radar, so that's kinda of nice. Go ahead and build one up. Actually we already have we actually have some radar up here already. Wow. Another APC, good. If you guys need training, go ahead and train real quick. We got some time. After that, we'll probably go to war with Nueva Atzalan, maybe? Nah, Chichen is worse, I think. They might be worse. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Part standardization. Good, we'll do that too. And can we finally do this? Yes. Not that much more manpower, but we do get rid of the resistance down here, which is always nice. And we get more slots unlocked, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and arm some people here. The rebels. Good. Exploit them. Nah. We're gonna clamp down on autonomy more though. Oh, oh wow. The commander is. Probably pretty, oh, they might take out the NCR. I'm not saying they are, but they might. If the NCR has got any anti-tank, that'd be good. But family tradition. Let's go ahead and get this just in case we need to use it immediately. So, a Mexican bullfighting. The Tercio de Varas, or part of the Lancers, happens right after the bull enters the ring. This stage entails confusion for the bull, and Lancers, or Lances, are speared in his neck to hinder his movement. Oh, sounds kind of cruel. Now, we can't do that. But we have to be at war with Kaisar's Legion, so we can still probably do that too. Nice. So just in case. Oh, they're fighting Vegas too, and they have robots, so that's not too bad. Nice. Let's get some water purification stations. That'd be good because we were running out for a while. We still have a little bit of water. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. White Claw. Oh, White Claw's Squid of One Dead Horses. Oh, they're uniting all of Utah. Nice. The Kaisar's by himself. Look at the hang dogs. Those are the thickest dogs I've ever seen. Whoa! Do you have a focus tree? You don't even have like a unique focus tree. That's awesome. Holy cow. That's that's really good. That's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Nice. Now I'm gonna war with these guys. Can I get some There you go? Tampico. Yeah, that'd be pretty important. Maybe some more supplies. Give it just a little bit of time first, you guys stop training. As long as no one's just green, that's good. Work camps, 
Very nice. They're not death camps, they're just work camps. Let's see. What else? What else? Oh yeah, monoplane attackers. Throw them over here, that'd be fine. Give me another hundred. Or as close to a hundred as we could possibly get. You guys come over here too. Are you ready and deployed? Almost. We're gonna wait and we're gonna go. Looks like the infantry this time are gonna go ahead, while everyone else does nothing else. All of Mexico must be united under us. Oh, they're actually attacking us over here. Interesting. Do you guys not have planes? Um, I recommend planes, guys. I would really recommend planes. That would be very good. Holy crap, these guys, these guys they take forever. And actually, since we're here, we can go and start doing upgrades to medium. Nice. After them, I think, huh, it's hard to tell. Who's in whose faction? So the jungle pack is looking pretty strong. I really don't like the jungle pack. Do I have Atsalan? You're fighting quite a few guys. They have so, a lot of manpower. These guys have, don't have that much manpower. How many... Mm, Costa is fighting these guys. No manpower. You guys have a little bit of manpower. Eh, and Honduras. I think Jujin is a way to go. We'll see what happens after this, though. Myrtle? Cool. A shining example. The art of nation building is usually a thankless one, but today is not the case. The people of two sons seem to have taken to the role of subject wonderfully, and our officials are welcomed, our demands are met, and hearts and minds are being won to our cause. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to do that, but I kind of want to do this. Let's do that. Let's get some more political power. I can always use more political power. Oh, God, look how much it's going to cost me to get up, to get even more political power. We get more attack, though. I like that. We might want to do... Think of that too. We're not getting any more manpower right now, so mm, I want to do that. Cool. Oh, look at this. Tercio de Banderias. In the second stage of a bullfight, the Tercio de, de Banderias, the Matador plants two barbed sticks in the bull's shoulder, spurring a loss of blood. Enraged, the bull then charges at the Matador's cape, ignoring the blade the Matador also holds. Huh, never been to a bullfight before. Sounds kind of like a wild time, not gonna lie. Oh, more guns? Wow, that's a lot of political power. A Summers Federation. Oh, I've never seen them before. The ranchers, well... They're kind of gone. I already took them out. Uh, these guys, I already helped them out once. And once armed the pick as well. They're already also under me too, so... Nice. Yeah, the infantry are doing pretty well. You guys, it's your time to shine. Again, let the all the infantry have all the fun. We destroyed about 1,200 of them. Yeah, I'm thinking these guys are probably more important to take out. Mm, I kind of want to see how long would it take me for a little war with either one. Let's go with war with them, just because it's easier to get all this done and then finish off in the way of Atsalan like that. I'd rather not take out Chichen Itza like, like when they're huge, like maybe all the way up here. I'd rather finish off in the way of Atsalan when it's like we like that or something like that. You know, kind of crazy talk, but whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, guys, just get in there. Good, you cut them off. Lovely, lovely. Oh, they even have power armor. Oh, Petro Chico does. Cool, news from the front. I still prefer more stability right now. Recycling. What about more naval stuff? Battle steamers? Sure. How is our navy doing? We got a couple guys there. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Train? Train, train. I don't know, man. I don't know if I should really give these guys anything. Oh, man, they're, they're guys not looking super strong. Oh. They must be out of equipment or something. Good. Look at those guys just go. Love it. Also, take over Petro Chico. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, I can... I'll give Nueva Atsan, like, one piece of territory. I think that's the only group they were fighting, though. There you go. You can have that. I'm picking everything else. Thank you. Because I deserve it. I think. Probably. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Alright, so let's make sure we actually build this area up, and this actually has a lot of good resources for us. Lots of good resources, even though supply here is not very good. We're going to need some air bases too, for what we're going to do to these people. So these guys are going to continue killing each other off, which will help Nueva Atsalan out a little bit. But we'll see what happens. Right, so we got enough army XP that I don't feel bad about using it. 
nor should I feel bad about using it. Now, we have to make sure our navy will be okay as well. That's going to be important. How many ships does Chichen Itza have? I've played them once. Only once, though. That's a lot of capital ships. Up to minimum 19? That's... That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, yeah. So, uh, longboats, brigs. They're not great ships. They're really, they really are not great ships. But with the upgrades we have on them already, we should do okay with them. And if I lose a few, you know, whatever. Whatever. Good. Anything else? Real uprising. Yeah, I definitely want to get probably more manpower first. Five percent's good. Adelitas militias looks even better though. Nice. Even more war support. Awesome. Oh, whoops. Tercio de Muerte. The fate of Kaisal. The Matador Academy. Gira will continue to reform Rio's military until it can stand toe to toe against the Legion. Starting level of new leaders looking pretty good. Pretty darn good. Let's see. And I did say I will use my army XP, so I will. Just give me a little bit of time. How much longer must we wait until we go to war with these fellas? Oh, Costa Caffinato was annexed. That's good. For someone... Oh, we got we get quite a while. Yeah, that's why I want to go to war with Chichen. It's a, they're pretty strong against Nueva Atsalan so far. But that might not stay the same forever. Mm, engineering, that's good. Naval modules, might as well get an HMG. Let's look at our division. So APCs, I want to make you guys 40 combat width, but we're not quite at the place where I want to do so yet. That would, this really hurts your armor. I don't want to put anything else on there. Yeah, I really want to make them 40 combat width. I will, but I need to research more APC stuff. Let's see, you guys, I cannot make 40 combat width at all. And these are looking already pretty darn good. Our militia divisions, uh, I'll probably throw that on there. I throw that on there. Not too bad. I don't think anything else would really help them, so. And then we have... Oh, yeah, these guys are 20 combat width. Throw on the cam companies. That'd probably be good. Demos, dogs. Let's see, you get 0.5 more recon. You already have one. You get 15 HP. You guys get 15. Four. A little less than five breakthrough, five soft attack. Five breakthrough, five soft. You get eight soft attack, though. Hmm. Ooh, dogs. There we go. Cool. Let's the time go on. Oh my goodness, I'm making quite a few more divisions now. Good. Wait, no, I'll do there. What the heck? No, you guys come here. There you go. Nice. Good. Very nice. We could arm the rebels, but we can wait longer still. We can wait for the water. What is the NCR even up to besides trying to fight the commander's arsenal? Ah, the Matador Academy. Next up, the home effort. We'll go with Protect the North. Protector of Mexico. Hmm. Well, I'd probably do this one first just because I don't want to guarantee everyone. That's not very fun. Tlalocan. Yeah, I'm going to have to end up going to war with Tierra de los Sotzeo. That wouldn't look very good, so we'll just protect the North. Guerrero will protect the people of northern Mexico against from foreign aggression. Yes. Because we are securing southern Mexico. There you go. Now it's better. And we can actually get another general. Oh, oh, we have Veronica. Oh yeah, Veronica looks pretty good. Inspirational. And an inspirational of Veronica. And we'll grab better radar. That'd be good. Nice. Very nice. And we can probably build up one more military factory up here somewhere called... Right there. Look at all this infrastructure we gotta build. Supplies? Not doing too bad, actually. Oh, Cascade has assumed faction leadership of the Northern Defense League. Alright, well, it makes sense if they're pretty large. You guys hanging out, having a good time. Since we have time, go ahead and train. Everyone's gonna train. That's good. Do we have any more planes we could deploy? Yes. Got a few gliders here and there. Which is, you know, it's okay. It's not great. But it is what it is. Good. Ah, uh, you might want to do that too. Basic well pumps. We're going to put them right there. Because even though I don't think they really need them that much. That's still okay. Mm, do that as well. Let time go on as much as fast as possible. These guys are definitely... Oh, wow. That's a big sneaky up there. Cool. We're going to protect the north. 
Uh, yeah, you can accept all this, but you're pretty much all dead already, so that's okay with me. So the might of the oppressed. Rio welcomes all who face oppression, be they ghoul or mutant, tribal or wastelander. Except for cucarachas. We shoot them. Hmm. A cucaracha. Oh. Very cool, very cool. Uh, anything else? Lobbies of deputies. I don't know why that's still there. I mean, the election's been long over. We can sell some outdated equipment for more monies. Very nice. Vegas is... Well, they haven't really lost. They're really just stuck. What is this war of casualties like? How are we already half an hour? What the heck game? I want to double check this first. Commander's NCR war. That's really not too bad. That's actually pretty balanced for both sides. I'm kind of surprised that the NCR has not lost more. That's a little bit too ahead of time. Do schooner holes. That's fine. We can probably do paddle steamers for now. That's fine with me. That's good. Naval rams looking good. That's fine. Yeah, I've really not done too much else with this stuff yet. Point defense, not worth it. Medium deck, not worth it. Ah, sails. That'd be good. A little bit more speed, a little bit less reliability. It is what it is. Anything here? Signal flags. Really? Nothing else? Hmm, disappointing. And now Briggs are old school. Well, we can finish up those guys. Let's go. Nice. Gloria. Very good. Heavy machine guns, of course. Okay, we need that. Good, good, good. Nice, now that's nice. Awesome, let's grab some more manpower because we're gonna need it. Lose 1% more support. We get a little bit more war support. Oh, 330. Want to remove front. Tier militias. Um, I can't click on that, so I'm gonna click on this again. Is that okay? okay, so now we have everything else opened up. That's kind of nice. Okay, so we can go from one percent war support, two percent and a half. I'm gonna get more attack. There's no debuffs for this, so I like Gloria Mexicana, but we have to be a war for that. So I'm gonna go, just go with this. That's probably good. We're gonna double the amount of population we can. Yeah, national garrisons. Nice. We fight for Mexico. Mexico is ours. Let's go ahead and get legendary wastelanders. Yeah. We could do that, but I want to core more stuff. Ah, oh, look at that map. We're going to have a lot of map. We probably don't ever have to raise our conscription again. Probably. Might of the oppressed. Good. Home effort. Together for Rio. Let's do the home effort. So, everyone in Rio will work for victory. We can push for victory together. Pretty good. Anything else here? We could do th more of this stuff, but like I said. Go promote recruitment drive. No, 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 no. Leniers is ours. We need three new political power. It's not really worth coring that. Oh, this is the Ruin Depot's more worth coring. We can't core this yet. I need to get through here. Um, That's really not worth it, but we'll do it anyways, because we need. We get rid of resistance, get some more factory slots. You know, that type of nice stuff. How much longer will we wait? Adobe housing, very nice. Grab some of that. Resource-wise, we're doing pretty darn well. And... Wait, do we not have a... Wait, what, what's going on? I don't have a war goal. Did I... Oh, we might have missed it. Oh, maybe I spent so much time talking about other stuff that I completely missed it. That's probably what happened. So let's keep an eye on this, because we definitely need to. And now we have a few more days, which... Uh, at this point, you know what? I'll see you in just a little bit, and we'll go to war as soon as we're ready to do so. Alright, my friends, sorry about that, but it is what it is, and we have just gone to war with Chichen Itza. Now it was weird again. Like, I double checked. It says we're at war now, and just and I had to use console commands actually to go to war with Chichen Itza. I as you saw earlier, I justified on them twice in this episode, but as soon as the justification was ready, it disappeared. Maybe that's probably, you know. That's supposed to happen. I probably shouldn't be attacking southern Mexico before I take out the Legion. Oh, well. But it is what it is. But I want to take them out first. Anyways, so I've been doing suppressed subjects the entire time off screen. I've done no other focuses. But let's do one right now, such as we can do it. Rios can do. Plucky attitude is a talk of Mexico. Let Mayan potentoats dismiss our notion of popular sovereignty. Let AIs calculate the odds of our survival. We are the Republic of the Rio Grande. And we will never be stopped. Never, never, never. Cool, let's let the guys go ahead immediately. Um, they, I guess, 
obviously aren't guarding the border, even though... Oh, maybe we should have restructured this a little bit before we did that. Hmm. Also, before we do anything, I do want to see the casualties. Let's see. 16,000 versus 26,000. That's not bad. But they've been called in. I've repaired my navy. Let's see. Do we have any more screen? That's not bad. You guys... That's not bad either. So actually, you guys are looking pretty good. Come over here. Now, I, I'm expecting quite a few hits from the fleet. I don't expect Leonosio to do super great. But we'll see what happens. Nice. Are you... No bueno, maybe? Yes, bueno? No bueno? Oh, here we go. That's probably why. There you go. And now we're with all these guys. They've been killing each other off, which I like, which I love. We are a spy master. I think we're doing pretty darn well. Also, we're building up more rail, more roads. Lots and lots of roads, actually. Which is a good thing. It's a very, very good thing. Uh, now we good, man. We don't need him, Texas, for now. I've been trying to build up my army. I've been trying to make more divisions as well, including special forces. Because we're going to need a big old army for the massive front we have with the Legion. Yeah, because MCR, they're just, they're still struggling against them over here. They have the Boneyard. Uh... Yeah, we can't really see what they're doing, so which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see what else. I've got three spies that are working in the Legion right now. And I have 150 political power. News from the front. I'd like more stability, but it is what it is, my friends. Let's see. Oh, we could... Hmm. Lose a little bit of stability for more weekly war support. That's not bad. I'm going to do that. I think overall that's okay. Still some outdated equipment. That's good as well. We don't believe in drugs here. I also got less damage to garrisons. We might do Glory Mexicana too. But I do want to do this whole little re arm rebels thing. So we're going to do with the this, these guys. We did it once, but help them out again. Summons Federation. Ooh, look at this. Oh, we lost some planes. Eh, whatever, that's okay. So this is probably not good for our supply. But we're doing okay anyways. They can't pierce us, so that's good. If that's a case, we might just justify on these guys at the same time as well. They don't have a good navy. They got quite a few divisions and quite a bit of manpower, but... Hmm. Let's see how it goes first. How long would it take for me to go to war with these guys? Then again, it might not actually work. Since it didn't work for me with... Uh, with Chichen Itza, which is really weird. But let's do three-star fleet. Fly the red, black, and white from the gulf to the other part of the gulf. Okay, cool. So I'm going to actually divide you guys up. So you guys are actually going to come over here. Help kind of defend this little area. Send half you guys this way as well. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, actually, that's really, that's actually a really bad idea. You guys come up there. There you go. That's better. Save on supply issues, you know, all that good stuff. Do that. Maybe get some radar here. That might help out our guys in the waters, perhaps. These guys really can't do very much against us. I mean, they can be still strong, but still. You guys come there. Yeah. There's still a lot of divisions, so I mean, it's not like we're just right doing great right now. We couldn't do an evil invasion. Hmm. Do I want to sacrifice these guys? Not really, but kind of. Let's see what happens with that. You guys are over there. Uh, at this point, you guys can come over there as well. Mora, Guerra, Honduras people. Lots of people to take out. Tons of people to take out. We've already killed 2,400 of them. Beautiful. And we're still mobilizing more people. I love it. How do you guys not have orders? I want everyone up here. Nice. Alright. Another division. Good. Throw them right there. Building up bigger armies. Getting 115 bottle caps per quarter. Which is awesome, and I do have a cup of coffee here, which I thought would be appropriate for a little refresher in the middle of the video. Oh, yeah, you guys keep going on. You guys keep on trucking, because you guys should have enough supplies to do this. You really should. We'll see what happens. Uh, if you're down here, maybe help them out. Maybe, oh, maybe not. Hmm. Hold. Intercoms. Alright, so let's see. Air bases, yeah, we definitely need some air bases to help give us some bigger advantage, better, bigger, better advantages. Oh, they can kind of pierce us. That's not good. Oh, we could go that way. Hmm. Come on, push them out this way. Nice. 32,000 losses. Not bad. We're not really winning over here, which isn't very ideal. You guys can be on medium. 
good. And Reynosa Harbor. With control of Reynosa, we can open Rio's ports to the sea. Absolutely. More guns. Oh, look at that. Wowzers. Nice. Combat barges. Awesome. Combat barges. You all are done. Good. Let's upgrade this while we still can. Good. Ah, intercoms. Nice. Can't do anything about that. No defense. H oh. Lowers our light attack a little bit more. More anti air is always kind of nice. That's pretty good to get. That's pretty awesome. Anything for naval rams? No. Uh, actually, let's do that one. One more. Oh, boarding parties. Nice. Awesome. That's definitely a massive upgrade to what we have currently. We're doing two at once. Yeah, I'm also get rid of you. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Gloria. Nice. And since we're here, yeah, there you go. Now, how strong are these guys still? They're out of manpower. It's still a lot of division, but they're out of manpower. Which is always a good thing to see. Alarming trend. Agitators. Yeah, we'll squash the agitators. That's fine with me. We actually have some planes here, which really helps out with our attacks. Really, really helps out. Yeah, you guys aren't really winning in these areas too well, but eh. There's enough attacks that we should do well regardless. I think we have enough manpower anyways. You guys can go there. Help them out. Think if they can destroy the that group, that'd be amazing. We broke down here. Awesome. Alright, so you guys stop attacking. You're just here to help hold the line. You guys. You're just here to help hold the line. That's it. So hold and come over here. I'll go this way. I thought we'd be losing most of our guys to war. No, it's just I'm building a lot of guys up. We lost about 1,000, 1,400, which makes sense. This isn't super easy to do over here. It is what it is. Go ahead, too. Nice. Anti-air, not going to build that. We build some stuff here. Maybe build some roads here as well. Roads on the front seems like a good idea. Maybe a naval port just in case. Maybe right there, perhaps. Get some supplies going into there. We've met no enemy navy yet. A little disappointing. Ah, and those ships. Good. Let me do some of that. Nice. We got uh, some of these boats. You guys can go over here, too. Do that. Oh, there, we had an, a little bit. Are we in these waters as well? Yeah, we don't, we don't, there you go. Do all of the Gulf of Mexico. That'd be great. That'd be really, really great. Come on down here. Cut these guys off if we can. Oh, and a focus. Copy the Mayans. Somehow the people of the Yucatan think they are the masters of the Gulf. By stealing their designs, we can prepare to show how wrong they really, truly are. I'm the audio all the time now. Huh. Good. We cut those guys off. Now they might get some supplies through ports and stuff, but hopefully not. Nice. Just keep pushing through. Push through a thousand. Not bad. Not bad. Very good. Very good. We get about 1.68 political power a day. Not bad. Arm the Summers Federation's rebels. Sounds like a good idea. Oh. Go and take those guys out. Thank you. Division wise, they only have 104. Earlier, I thought they had 140-some. 150-some. Maybe. Radar arrays, very good. Grab some of that. Don't want to forget about sails either. Nice. We need another whole new army here. Commando training, grab some of that. Uh, you have 25 divisions. Yeah, that makes sense. You have 25. Good, good, good. Copy the Mayans. Enter the Gulf! The Republic of the Rio Grande has traditionally traded with the wastes through Texas and Arizona, but the new confident Republic can spread its sails across the sea. Let us plow the waves for wealth. Ah, uh, slowly crushing the Chichen Itza. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, just head on through there, guys, if you can. Oh, we need more planes around here. 
Yeah, they really did not develop any planes. Holy cow. Holy Sincorinos. And he must do that there too. Nice. That should definitely help out, especially if we can get rid of these guys down here. A new general. Ernesto. Not bad, not bad. Finesse is okay. Tech Wizard, eh, could be worse. Could we, we've had much worse. Oh, we can go to War of the Movie if we really want to. I'm thinking, nah. Do we have that? Yeah, we have the War Goal. 23rd. Alright, well, okay. Good, 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 good. Sometimes now I'm a little worried that it doesn't actually go, so we'll see what happens. Nice. Now we have to deal with these guys who are still their allies, which isn't ideal, but it is what it is. Go ahead and take those guys out. Nice. Very good, very good. I want you guys to come all down this way and come through Honduras if possible. Now the war's pretty much on us. Nueva Atzalan is doesn't even have a connection with them, which makes sense. It is what it is, but still. Diplomatic training, very good. Oh, they're still trying to beat us up. Oh, into the Gulf, nice. Admiralty reappointment. One might not expect us to be a naval power, but surprise. Big, big surprises. Alright, so how... Oh, they have 66 divisions. They have no manpower, which is good to see. So they're just kind of wasting themselves on our line. Go ahead and move in. With air support, we should do okay. We should. Good. Oh, God, that's so many monoplane attackers. I love it. I love it so much. There you go. Just give it to her. There you go. And I don't have any more room there for planes. We need another area. You guys have some planes. Ah, here we go. Oh, they're moving all around. Fire extinguishers. Very cool. Oh, boy. What happened in the water? Oh, boy. We're finding enemy navies. Oh, boy. We might have lost a few ships here. Wow, we lost 19 light cruisers. Holy cow. Their battle cruisers are pretty strong. But we sunk a, we sunk a couple of them. You know, sacrifices will have to be made for the good of the group. So, it is what it is. Nice. So, battle barges are good to go. Sorry, uh, battle, st battle steamers. It's battle barge time. Yep, do that. Medium tech weaponry. Sales, yeah, sales. I could do better on that. Radio communication, radar, arrays. Get some heavy deck weaponry, or maybe some medium decks, or some light decks. Is there anything else here? HMGs, there you go. One. I can let time go on a little bit more. Not convoys. Two. two. There we go. Nice. Admiralty reappointment. So the Naval Officer Program, we can encourage our officers to train for the coming war. Wars, really. Lots of wars. Lots and lots of wars. Yeah, we should probably focus a little bit more on uh, Naval Doctrine, actually. Hmm. Just dawned on me. But at least our Admiral should be getting a lot of good information. A lot of good uh, XP. Oh my goodness. Holy cows, there's... We lost a lot of ships. Ooh. Lost a couple more there. Let's get some more of the enemy's ships there. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna have the APCs do because the supply is pretty bad probably around here. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm out of APCs. That's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. That's a very, very bad thing. But you know what? We'll finish this off tomorrow. So hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we might end up going to war with Khazar's Legion. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.